U.S. Hypersonic Weapons Defense Project, named Glide Breaker. As the threat of hypersonic weapons continues to grow, one of the Pentagon's top research and development arm is moving ahead with a new project to explore ways to guard against them. The Defense Advanced Research Project's agency's Glide Breaker project will focus heavily on a hard kill interceptor to knock the fast flying weapons out of the sky. DARPA showed off concept art of the interceptor portion of Glide Breaker for the first time at its D60 Symposium, which honors the organization's 60th anniversary, in September 2018. The objective of the Glide Breaker program is to further the capability of the United States to defend against supersonic and the entire class of hypersonic threats. DARPA said in an announcement for the July 2018 Proposers Day. It's also not clear how Glide Breaker may be related to the Missile Defense Agency's MDA, own hypersonic defense project, which you can read about in more detail and also includes plans for some sort of anti-hypersonic missile weapon system. As of February 2018, MDA expected to spend more than $700 million in total on that research and development project through at least 2023. In addition, Breaker is a clear callback to at least two earlier DARPA efforts, Assault Breaker and Tank Breaker, both of which were Cold War era projects focused on defeating Soviet tanks and other armored vehicles. The former program also featured a multifaceted approach that led to the development of a host of air and ground based sensors, weapon systems, and other technologies. There has been less discussion of how to counter the growing threat of hypersonic weapons to conventional ground and naval forces, but those concerns are very real, too. The Russians have begun fielding the KH 47 M2 Kinz an air-launched version of their Iskander quasi-ballistic missile, which can reach hypersonic speeds. China is in the process of developing an air-breathing hypersonic weapon that it could potentially use in a surface-to-surface -surface or air-to-surface role. In both strategic and tactical settings, hypersonic weapons look set to offer a game-changing ability to launch virtually no-notice strikes against time-sensitive and other high-priority targets. Their speed and ability to maneuver give them the ability to break through or simply dodge existing missile defenses. Glidebreaker's core objective seems to be to find a way to challenge hypersonic weapon strike and stopping it. This has been described as trying to hit one bullet with another bullet. Engaging a hypersonic weapon would be akin to trying to hit a bullet that can erratically change course, is flying on a more level path through the atmosphere instead of space, and that is cruising at a consistent speed of five times the speed of sound or more throughout the majority of its flight. Of course, Adding a space-based missile defense weapon layer could be another option to help shoot down boost glide vehicles, which typically briefly fly near or above the Earth's atmosphere. Under Secretary of Defense Griffin has already proposed deploying 1,000 anti-missile interceptors in space and has discussed concepts for destroying incoming ballistic missiles during their initial boost phase, when they most vulnerable, using satellites carrying directed energy weapons. He has said the interceptor constellation concept would cost $20 billion but has not yet offered any concrete details about the interceptors, how they would operate in space. In 1993, the U.S. government canceled a proposed plan to place 4,600 interceptors in space, which had a price tag of $55 billion. In brief, we do not have systems today that give us globally, comprehensive, persistent, timely, multi-mode awareness of what is going on on Earth, everywhere, all the time. We don't have that, Under Secretary of Defense Griffin said at a conference earlier in September 2018. 
it will be very interesting to see what sorts of sensors, weapons, and other technologies come out of DARPA's Glidebreaker program that might be able to counter hostile hypersonic weapons, or at least make an enemy think twice before employing them. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.